Shut up. You guys think about Kamala? It'll be cool. She's terrible. Me. If she comes into office, it will be done. Man, but I'm, I'm definitely That's voted for Trump. Trump. I'm sure that most of these men take this as a compliment. They're mm -hmm. like, oh my goodness, low testosterone. I've been waiting my whole life to hear this. <laughs> Honestly, I hope most of these low T males that are at the DNC, I hope they're, you know, taking a little detour going to the vasectomy truck. <laughs> yes. uh, because they are the last people that I would like to reproduce in this country. Mm -hmm. But when you really look at the whole Democratic Party as a whole, I, calling them sheep is the best synonym for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really are weak-bodied, weak-minded. Just a month ago, mm -hmm. nobody, and this still blows my mind, nobody was talking about Kamala Harris as being an acceptable yeah. presidential candidate. Gonna yes, I never expected Bimaha to say this, I'm sure. They had a segment, an interview today, where they talked about a lot of topics, but there is one particular one, pertaining to Kamala Harris, a lot is going on. Since after the DNC, she is just on her basement. We have not seen her. That is to clearly tell you what they want. Bigger issue is the left and their ability or their uh, desire to engage with anyone who's not already in the bubble. And they get a big fat D minus on that. I, oh, I, uh, I couldn't agree more. Right. I mean, you see Kamala. I mean, I'm glad she's doing well. I'm glad we have a real fight now for president. Um, but doesn't talk to the press. You know, never, would never go near me. And I'm, you know, when you won't go near the people who are going to vote for you. Yeah. I'm going to vote for you. Do I have to love everything? No, I don't. It just shows they're afraid. And you're right. I see it so more much. Well, uh, hold on. I, I don't. Okay, you know what? I don't see her. Well, there's no reason for her to go on your show before the election, but I can actually see her. Yes, there is, because I speak to the exact voter she needs, the person who is in the middle, the person who is not ideologically captured by either side. Now, there are some who watch who are uh, that, and the, everyone is welcome. I, I, I need a bigger audience all the time. I'm greedy that way. But basically... That's exactly the audience she needs. The MSNBC crowd is already voting for her. People who watch me, who will decide, this election will probably be decided in like four states by something like 80,000 votes in each. That's how these elections, how close they are these days. And that's where we're back to, we're at least back to normal which sucked, but it is normal that it's 50-50 going into the election. With let, Biden, it wouldn't have been. Let me ask you about this, though. Okay, look, look, there's nothing you said that isn't right, all right? Um, and there's definitely nothing you said that isn't right in a normal election cycle. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's irrefutable. So according to Democrat Kamala Harris, to avoid making mistakes, the only solution is to hide she should not take questions. She should not answer anything from the public. That is concerning. If you say you want to be a leader, you should be able to take challenging questions. It sounds my heart when I see this man sitting here telling me it is important for her to stay there. People should just vote. I don't get the point why people cannot even realize what is going on. It is like something I saw in 2020 almost repeating itself, though at a certain point, Biden was taking up questions, though not really hard ones. You are seeing what Trump is doing, with gender events, taking hard questions. It's, 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 it's irrefutably right in a normal election cycle where you have a year right. to set your case. Uh, I think they're just all about winning the election, all right? And then the easiest path to winning the election, look, you can talk about maybe she should have had more guts about this or that and the other, but we're the president. Right. And Trump's not the president and we're the president and now it's going to be about this. But this is about fucking winning. What, what most people don't give the Democrats enough credit for, all right, but we give the, the Republicans credit for. It's like, no, sometimes it's just about winning. And it doesn't matter how we look right. at this moment. It's about winning. Right. This is about winning. Yep. No, it is. It's no. a mad dash, and she is running, and she's not stopping 
to no. f- stumble. And you know what? And there's nothing wrong with I, stopping this. I'm going to vote for it anyway, no matter what she says in a stupid interview. Exactly. So don't fuck shit up. What do you guys think about Kamala? It'll be cool. She's terrible. Me. If she comes into office, it will be done. Yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely voting for Trump. Let me tell you something. She tries to get the black vote. Because if you look at her past mm-hmm. things, and maybe 10, 15 years ago, when she's in interviews, she identifies as West Indian. She does. She the does only not way that she's identified as, as African American is right now. This now boils down to the fact that these people don't care about anything. They don't care about policy. They don't care. They just want their person to be dead. If you are killing everyone, they don't care. They don't just like Trump. It is important to always look into a lot of things before taking a decision, especially to people who haven't decided at this time. This video here clearly tells you a lot the mindset Democrats have partaken to her. They don't care. They just want to win. They can stay there so far. It will not affect them. Play around and win. It is crazy, right? So it is high time for you to take a decision. There is another video, very interesting. No news conferences for Harris, no sit-down interviews. The, the questions, How the coverage has made this happen, enough. Tom? Yeah. She's doing uh, <laughs> so, interviews with cre- content creators today. And says, right. You know, so I, let's, you know, call it the, yeah. let's call it the Harris honeymoon, right? When does right. the Harris honeymoon end? Because at some point, she's going to have to sit down. She's going to have to do a serious interview. She's going to have to go unscripted, maybe even a full news conference. But it, it has to happen. Oh, absolutely. has to happen. And, you know, you, we're starting to see her talk to reporters. Like yesterday, she spoke to some reporters in Pittsburgh and they asked her, how are you going to pay for your economic plan, right? And she didn't really make a lot of sense. She just kept saying over and over again, it would be a return on investment. It would be a return on investment. Yeah. She said it four times over a, you know, 30, 50, you know, 60 second. And it just wasn't very strong. You could tell she's a little rusty when she's not on her teleprompter. And she hasn't always done well in the past when in a one-on-one, when you saw what happened with your colleague, Lester right. Holt. And so I think that this is actually a disservice to her. They're really building this up to be a very momentous moment when she finally sits down with a network anchor, and she could make one wrong move, and that's the entire news cycle. Talk to me about it. This drives me nuts how many political strategists are their own worst enemy. They always want to limit. Look, I think this is what, if Biden is angry that he does not, that this isn't his convention, you should blame everybody around him. You could have set the country up over the last three years to get used to Grandpa Joe if they let Grandpa Joe out there right. all the time. And every look over time, people the got debate used. was a shocker for right, people, right? You because know? they hadn't seen it. That's, and that's likely, what, and that's what Joe way, Biden did. Yeah, and, and early voting is going to start very soon. Yeah, could early voting start without her having? really been scrutinized by the media at all? It, well, it depends on your definition of scrutinizing. Yeah. I and mean, on one hand, all we have is her last campaign. Right. And you would think this is something that I wouldn't want if I was the Harris camp. Imagine her going to TikTok content creators to take interviews. I understand she might be talking to this group of people, but read interviews out there. What can a TikToker ask you apart from these small, small questions? We are not saying that. The other day, they asked a question pertaining to her economic plans. I was shocked because her response clearly tells you like she's not even aware of what is even happening. Like she has no clue. Today, about a tax issue, the same thing. If Democrats don't see this, I was impressed at a certain point when I see NBC News calling her out the way they should do. You made press because you were on Stephen Colbert's show, and he said something like, um, you guys at CNN just report the news straight, and the crowd burst into laughter. That tells you a lot, doesn't it? I mean, how, how do you guys think you are doing is in that arena of, like, this is a terribly divided country? We don't- I, I will never criticize them. This is silly. About Barack Obama yeah. when it comes to the theme here at the DNC is that they're going to go after corporate gouging. What's your favorite policy of Kamala's? Her being president. And if the pace plays... They're leaving the speech from Michelle Obama that I have to say is one of the best... Conv- uh, gun-toting... Con- I mean, we were talking... Trump Kamala. Trump. Damn Kamala. Kamala Harris is in office right now and has not tried to do anything about the border, has not tried to not tax people on tips. For some people, it's already started. But, but when you disrespect Kamala Harris, they say the economy's great. Just look at the jobs numbers. Well, we did, and they disappeared. The money in politics is so extraordinary, which is something that should have never been allowed to happen. Oh, 
much more happens at the DNC. They had a guy yelling, screw the billionaire.